Thanks for rolling up. Two little Marley, bro. We ain't ready. Roll up, um. Bro, it's a dang. Uh, you know, man, you know what we about to do. Let's jump right in, man. Stop, stop, stop with the uh, bullshits. With any new industry comes in new challenges. And north of Las Cruces, dozens of residents are concerned about their property values tanking after their neighbor starts growing cannabis across the street. ABC 7's Kate Beery visited the property and reports north of Las Cruces with a New Mexico mobile newsroom. I don't know what you say. Las Carusas, the neighborhood thinks that you know what I mean. Um, their property value will go down because a weed farm opens up. I don't think that would be. I don't think that would be the case. I think that value that that weed is the that land value that the weed is growing on is going to go up in value as as we you know what I mean um legalization goes across that should in turn r r raise their land value up I don't I don't let's see this is the home of Lisa Butler, north of Las Cruces, and this is what Lisa sees when she opens her front door. Neighbors say it looks like a prison. Barbed wire. That does look kind of prisonish. It looks like it's trying to keep somebody the fuck out. Yeah, it looks like it's either trying to keep somebody out or keep somebody the fuck in there. That doesn't look. That doesn't look 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 friendly. It, it definitely looks like now I mean it's kind of like a detention center. Steel fencing and razor concertina. Wire. I got to tell you, it looks like a military outpost in Afghanistan. No one wants to live next to a lot. I've never been to Afghanistan. So I don't know what their military post looked like. Oh, I have been to a prison. And I know that that's, that looks more like a prison to me. That looks like a detention center with razor wire. You can control property values at the county level, but you cannot control the market value. Residents behind the wall of this gated community are also taking issue with what's across the street. Right across the street from Great Fox Estates in which I live. Why put the farm here when there are many, many wide open spaces? Location matters. If there's a cannabis farm next to your home, your property value will drop. Yeah, who's gonna, you gonna buy my house? Who is who? who I, why are y'all acting like that? That shit is written in stone. If there if there's a cannabis, if there's a cannabis thing here, it's automatically going to happen. There's no way nothing else can possibly happen in the world. It's just man, shit. I walk out my front door, and that's what I see. And it's 600 feet long. They have followed all the rules and regulations put forth by both the county and the state. Anybody can point to positives and negatives on both sides. Advocates of the industry defended Tingen Farms, the owner of the property. The fencing is there for everyone's safety and is a regulation that they must abide by. There is a low level of any type of smell coming from the crop. Cannabis is just another one of those economic drivers in our state that is recognized legally by the state of New Mexico. <laughs> seems like, bro, it seems like those neighbors, bro, or, or a bunch of like caring ass neighbors. You got some Hoover ass neighbors. Whoever uh, owned that farm and shit. Hoover ass, Hoover ass neighbors. Yeah, I wouldn't want those neighbors, bro. They sound like they suck. Consultant and a technical writer for the cannabis industry said the owner of this property did everything right, getting all the proper certification. The owner of T and Farms declined to comment on this story. North of Las Cruces with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Kate Beery, ABC. Yeah, why would he comment? Like, like, like they say, he did everything he was supposed to do. Filled out all the shit, you know what I mean? Um, 
Hey, bro. Man, bro, fuck they goddamn complaints. Fuck they complaints and know what I mean? What the hell they talking about? The fence stand the fuck up. My forearm stand here. Y'all niggas is smelling the dank. Y'all don't want to smell it? Y'all fucking move. You fucking move because I ain't going nowhere, bro. <laughs> Okay, bro. Get some of them goddamn that goddamn uh stoner stoner shit on these niggas. Fuck these niggas, bro. Fuck them niggas.